South Korea's parliament has passed a bill outlawing the dog meat industry. Breeding and slaughtering dogs for meat is a century-old practice in South Korea, but it's not common these days. More people support animal welfare, and they like dogs for treating, not for eating. Mark Stewart is live for us in Seoul with more on this. Uh, yeah, it's a dying trade, it's a dying practice, so I guess the question is, <laughs> these dogs are so cute. They look so, anyway, uh, why, why now, I guess? Why, why take this move now? <laughs> Uh, you know, John, I think it was just time. And the fact that this was passed by a politically divided legislature in, in South Korea shows the change in attitudes. I mean, we're here at a dog cafe, not by accident, but as a reflection of how society here views dogs. In fact, one in four South Koreans own pets. So they are very much a part of the household, aren't they? Yes. Let me give you a little bit of history here. Um, you know, the, the idea of consuming dog meat is something that dates back centuries, really to a time when South Korea um, had food shortages and there was a need for a protein source. But, you know, eventually the country got wealthier and more prominent and, and it started to fade. What happened, though, recently was in part by a big push by South Korea's first lady. Uh, she is a, a known animal advocate. You know, she and President Yoon have a house full of pets. In fact, when she was recently on a state visit to the Netherlands, she visited an animal shelter in Amsterdam. So along with her efforts, as well as animal rights activists, this ban, this vote came to fruition. I talked to a leader from the Humane Society a short time ago. Let's take a listen. I think um, the political will is is growing with the first lady's interest and like the growing like interest in animal welfare from the public and the animal um, protection organization is, is, is peak. And there are two sides to this issue. There are farmers who have made a living off of breeding dogs for human consumption. And as part of this bill, uh, they have been given, there will be opportunities for them to, to transition into, into new ways of, of, of making a living. There's also a grace period. And John, as you, you look at the attitudes here in South Korea, poor dogs and this idea of consumption. You know, we talked to the owner of a restaurant here in Seoul that, that serves dog. Uh, they told us that it's something that they've been transitioning away from. In fact, may go out of business altogether, John. Well, that'll be a good thing. Now that you see it to happen in China, that'll be the big one. Uh, Mark Stewart, thanks for being with us. I get the dog cafe now. It's for them, not for eating. Thank you.